So this map, as I've already started showing off, is wet. It's full of water. So yeah, you have your metal extractors around the map. 1.8 everywhere. It's a very metal light map. There isn't a whole lot of metal. You have two in your main base, both sides. Then you have about a dozen in the center of the map. Half on land, half in the water. This map you typically see amphib, or actually you typically see hover, gunship, and shipyard. Looks like Crazy135 is going for gunships and Dorsch. I have no idea what they're going to go for yet. But let us begin. So this is going to be kind of silly, as you can tell. It's should be. It's kind of interesting. I like to see how... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You didn't just do that, did you? They... I hope for their sake that the dagger has a way out of there. But maces are going to... Nope! Oh, that is painful. Yeah, having to reclaim the metal extractor. Oops, indeed. Oh, that sucks. Like I said, this is going to be a little silly. Expect silly. Honestly, though, I've done, I, we all have done that once. I've done that before. It's such... It sucks, though, because that's the plot factory, too. So at this point, Dorsch is down a metal extractor, and Crazy135, well, reclaiming like mad. That's the one thing about this map. There's actually a lot of reclaim along the center. Like 500 metal worth of reclaim in your starting area. So Dorsch doesn't really need that metal extractor right now. They just need to reclaim. It's no big deal. And they're... Well, no, they're just building metal extractors. They're not reclaiming. So Crazy135 starting out with a bit of an advantage. As Dorsch rushes in with a couple hovercrafts. And that's... Well, a couple hovercrafts. Yeah, because that's so specific. A couple daggers coming in here. Should help against the rapier slightly, but not enough. Not enough to do much. So that's... Oh, hey, more stuff coming in. The flails. Good choice, actually. I'm a bit surprised that Crazy135 didn't go for a Brawler Rush. I mean, in a map like this, or Finn's Revenge, or one of those other maps that Hover Send to... Okay, Brawler Rush is a bad idea, because Hover Flails can come up usually in time quickly enough that the Brawler's gonna die, especially with the nerfs. Like, I held off a Brawler Rush once in Finn's Revenge a year... Well, not quite a year ago, but almost a year ago. That was before the big Brawler nerfs. And I was still able to hold it off with a Flail. So this should be no problem. Hey, these Rapiers... Actually, I might have a better chance than the Brawlers, thanks to the slow effect. Oh yeah, they're actually going to have a much better chance than the Brawler. Wow, two Rapiers doing a very bang-up job getting rid of this Flail. And that's the last shot, the Flail... Oh, one more shot! But the last Rapier is going to make that shot and kill the Flail. One Flail for one Rapier. That's actually an even trade. For cost. Which is really surprising, because I'm fairly certain that anti-air is supposed to be better than air units. But yeah, that's slow effect. That slow effect. All at the same time, Dagger's coming into Crazy 135's base. Not able to do too much. Dorsh's choice for gunship. A really good choice, especially with the Rapiers. They've done very well. And that was a good way of dealing with this. And Dorsh's commander having gone underwater to try to deal with, well, building up stuff. Yeah, we don't really see it now, but one of the big fixes was the commander names. You can't see it because the commander name is actually above the water. But if it were underwater, it would be refracted by the water. Because that was the thing I did. Well, it was the thing that was... It's not I did, the engine already had the depth set up for that, and then... It was just a matter of making sure it actually drew when it was underwater. But yeah, at this point, Dorsh, that lack of a metal extractor... And the fact that they didn't reclaim... The reclaim is the bigger thing, that's the biggest culprit. There's all this metal they did not reclaim. Why they didn't reclaim it is beyond me. But yeah, that they needed. They really needed. Crazy 135. They haven't even gotten all the reclaimed. I think they've just... Yeah, that's it. They've just taken their... Well, even then, there's still one rock, 50 metal, but... They took the vast majority of the reclaim just now. Finished up with that. Dorsch had none. Is now just reclaiming a little bit here and there, but... Yeah, they're relying entirely on metal extractors. Which is not the safest strategy, I'm afraid. Not really as effective as one might think at first glance. I mean, Dorsh's commander just doing its thing underwater. No one really dealing with that. Gunships can't easily hit below the water. That's actually one big weakness of gunships on water maps. They can't hit underwater. They actually end up getting... They end up just not being able to target. That's basically it. And once again, two on... Actually, I should point out, it was actually two on one with the flails. Two on one, and the flail killed one... So, that was fairly even. In terms of cost. Kind of makes sense. 
But yeah, typically anti-air is supposed to beat air for cost. I'd say that kind of worked. Dorsh, the game's over. The, the game's over, Dorsh. You can GG now. Oh, nope, they're going for an amphib factory. They're not throwing in the towel that quickly. They want to build that amphib factory. They want to get that set up. So we'll have that in just a moment. <laughs> Looks like the amphib factory is... Well, it'll get finished soon enough. But in the meantime, there's a lot of metal extractors that are just nice now in the open. And Dorsh, Dorsh can take care of... Well, Crazy135, I mean, can take care of those. Dorsh is not going to have... Are they going to be able to build this up? No. Well, uh, halfway done. They got 25 seconds. They managed to get it in time. And yeah, it's getting pretty close. I do kind of wish the engine would properly handle that particular underwater case. It's not doing the lines, if you notice. Underwater. If I go underwater, it does. Or, well, yeah, as you can see, it's finishing those off. But above water, it doesn't. Thankfully, I'm using a waterproof camera to do this game, so it's perfectly possible to see what's going on inside. Doesn't break. Unlike the build effect. That's the one downside. I can't I cannot fix that. It is not something that is engine side. Oh, sorry, it's it is engine side, it's not Lewis side. So without hacking the engine, I can't fix that. But technical problems aside. At least Dorsch has something of an economy going on. They're getting anglers, which is quite effective, because like I said, you can't hit Amphib with gunship. Or at least you can't hit underwater units with gunships. Unlike Ravens. Ravens can hit underwater units. Rapiers can't. So you need to have a planes factory. You need to have an... A sh well, an uh, airfield? Airstrip? I think it's airplane plant is what it's called. You need to have one of those to deal with this. And that... Well, Crazy 135 has that set up. Has the... They have the angler. They have one angler. It's... Poking its head above water, which is not the right move. But yeah, gone underwater, those would actually have a pretty easy chance of getting around and killing something. And in come the Nats to try to deal with this, and, well, that's what the anglers are for. Take them out. The anglers did... Okay, there we go. Now it's underwater. Now it's safe. Oh, it has to surface to fire. Never mind. It's not that safe. At least it's fairly safe when it's underwater and can't fire. How expensive are these things anyway? 200 metal each? Okay, that's reasonably costed. Except for, of course, the massive reload time. But like I said, they can go underwater, and Amphib bots do heal up underwater, so that's fine. They're actually in a really good position right now. The only downside, of course, being the economics of the situation, and Crazy135, I am surprised they have not expanded. Why have they not built a crane at this point? They're building a bunch of gnats. I think they just want to win this. But I'd be building a crane right now. Like, I'd be building a crane, setting up a bunch of expansions along the west side. Like, metal extractors everywhere. I realize it's very tempting to try to just finish this. But yeah, this is not going to end well. Because you can't hit underwater. But it looks like Dorsch is... I mean, they've still pretty much lost this game. But they're in a weird position where they can kind of hold out a little bit longer than they should otherwise. No, Dorsch's commander... It's been stunned out. It's been hit by the rapiers. Okay, actually, no, it hasn't. Those anglers are being a real thorn in Crazy's side. And I just... Crazy really should have gone for a crane by this point. I really should have gone for a crane, gone a bunch of metal extractors along the side, maybe built some power infrastructure as well, just in case, and then maybe some urchins as well to protect it from the... Ang well, not the anglers, but from ducks or whatever else will be put in. Because ducks are... What's next? That's... I mean, that's what you'd expect. You always see his ducks. I don't realize, is the outline effect working underwater? Yeah, it is. Okay. So the outline effect isn't perfect underwater. There's something I need to do to make it work properly, so I have a very light. It's hard to see. At least the units are visible underwater, thanks to the x-ray effect. But yeah, ducks coming in. The anglers are already in place. Ducks coming in to finish everything off. And that will basically do it for this game, I think. Crazy 135, I think they've just allowed themselves to get... They've allowed Dorsch to build up. Now, Dorsch, at the same time, isn't building up themselves too much. But, yeah, there's... I mean, the air isn't going to do much good. The ducks are going to be fairly effective, and... Dorsch, however... Why are they not reclaiming? Or, there we go, there's the reclaim. Or building metal extractors, and there's the metal extractor, so at least they're doing something. 
Yeah, at this point, Crazy135, I think they're still going to have this. For a second, I thought that Dorsch would bring it back, but no. That does not seem likely. That seems highly unlikely, in fact. Anyway, yeah, this is... Last fight here, and the ducks come in, get rid of the metal, metal extractor, and we'll likely get rid of the commander fairly soon. I just, I'm really surprised Crazy135 didn't build up an expansion when they had the chance. I just find that extremely surprising. But they didn't. And in fact, Dorsh is managing to push them away once again. And going some boys on top of that, this is, this is a weird game. I mean, I realize Flooded Valley is a weird map, but still. I mean, Dorsh is not in a position where they can build up any economy at all. Crazy135 was in such a position until they lost all their rapiers, but in that time they could have built a crane and just continued to expand, and Dorsh probably wouldn't have suspected it. Bit of a risky strategy, but it would have worked in this case. Still, that's kind of... Yeah, that's one thing. Crazy135 is point moving and not line moving. Line moving is really important to not have units die. Clumped up. And there's the scallops. Not as useful underwater as I mentioned before. Scallops, underwater, they're skirmishers. Above water, they're riots. Above water, they're great for dealing with ducks. Below water, however, not so much. They're still decent. They're just not as good as they are when they're above water. Then again, at that range, who really cares? They have the massive range advantage. They can just go. And at this point, Dorsch is dead. I just know that Crazy135 could have done this a lot sooner. So if either of you are watching this, Dorsch, just remember you have Reclaim to work from, and Crazy135, remember that when you are in a position of advantage, it's a great idea to expand. That's when you want to do the expansions. Alright, so it looks like I have one more game that's coming in that is... Oh, this could be interesting. I didn't even notice this one. Okay, cool. So there is actually a pretty good one that's been mentioned. I will do that as my closer. That'll be the next match. I'll have five matches tonight. How about that? Missed Wednesday, but or making more than making up for it with five games. Fairly long ones too. Okay, this one. Dorsh. Now they lose their factory. Then they lose their commander. Commanders having no underwater attack means that they are going to die. As the ducks go and finish that off, and that's. Yeah, that's basically going to be death. Last, the Ducks coming in here. Commander is not quite dead yet, but Dorsch still throws in the towel, and that's game. Okay, so that is that was kind of a silly game, but now let's go on to a much more serious game between Dancer and Shamanbluk on Icy Shell. Ophelia's pointed that out. Should be interesting. Stay tuned for that.